So welcome everyone. Again, this is Bruno Coelho. Welcome everyone. This is Bruno Coelho from Rabbit Way. This video is for one of my subscribers of the Dream List that shared this email with me. So Bruno, I have a conflict of interest with my current job, and I'm not able to start my online business. I actually have two ideas, and they are a conflict of interest. So I have three issues really. Well, number one, coming up with an idea that isn't a conflict of interest. Number two, procrastination. <laughs> right, we all, like we all do, right? Sometimes. And number three, putting myself out there. I'm a good listener and stay in the background type of person. So thank you. I'm not going to share your name because of this whole conflict of interest with your current job. I don't want you to get into trouble, but you know who you are. And thank you for sending me this email. And so let's start. So your number one issue was coming up with an idea that isn't a conflict of interest. But think about this way. Why do you have to move to an idea that isn't a conflict of interest? Why can't your current job be like a partner where you can explore your current idea? You know, everybody talks about entrepreneurship. But what not so many people talk about is this notion or concept of intrapreneurship. An entrepreneurship or an entrepreneur is someone that is working for someone else but still has the business mindset and the entrepreneur drive to get some creative ideas going that can make a significant and meaningful impact in the lives of others also known as clients of customers and you know if I was your boss I would love to hear your ideas because I know that if you're really passionate about your ideas you will pursue them even if I don't allow you to do so right uh, so if I was your boss I would at least uh, give you the opportunity to pitch me your idea or on how your product or strategy or whatever you have in your mind, how those ideas can actually uh, make a significant impact in the lives of my customers or clients and by implication how we can earn more revenue by doing so. So one of the things that might have uh, some you know significant impact in your decision of doing this is be by being not sure or why you should share this idea with your current job if they will get all the profits and you're absolutely right you know that's why I also believe that you should also besides pitching your idea if they are if they are interested in in your idea uh, you should also talk about how you could uh, be rewarded by it you know so you not only you will have the opportunity to explore your idea in your current job but you also have a significant impact in your revenue right so I did this on my own day job I pitched my idea my my bosses um, that gave me that opportunity it didn't work out so well they thought that my idea wasn't worth exploring um, there but it, it was okay right because I had this opportunity they gave me some useful feedback and we all won besides I didn't stop there I started exploring that idea um, out of office hours so you you literally have nothing to lose but if you really want to get another idea that isn't a conflict of interest you just have to mix your skills your unique gifts with your dreams you know if you have this uh, perfect notion of what you love to do what your passion is and what your unique gifts are and how others can benefit from what you're doing that's where magic happens and if this 
the ideas that goes that go around or that come from this process are also a conflict of interest then I would follow these steps I would share them with my current job don't worry of no, don't be afraid of them stealing your idea because if it's any good they will say that you're crazy <laughs> so if they say that you're crazy and they give you permission to just say forget about it focus on your work then you always have your own time after office hours right so keep me posted about your uh, journey on those ideas number two procrastination well what is procrastination it's about uh, believing that we have tomorrow to do what we need to do today right and to, for me what works to kick my butt and do what I need to do right now is to remember that we do not have any second of life granted you know we might not have tomorrow even though we believe that tomorrow is granted but it's not each breath that you're taking right now isn't granted so if you're if what you need to do is really important you should do it right now but sometimes what often is the issue the real issue is that what you're doing right now isn't worth your time but if it isn't worth your time why are you trying to do it anyway right I believe and this is the decision that changes everything I believe that we should work and do our heart by uh, living fully aligned with our purpose because when we are living fully aligned with our purpose that's the moment where we when we know that we have something worthwhile to give our life to and that's the moment where we make the decision of living for that purpose and being willing also to die for that purpose so everything that comes from from that purpose driven life those tasks are worth your time and another thing that you need to do is this you have your purpose you have your mission but you have to find what's your big why and the big why is the the real motivation behind what made you start this journey is the reason why you can't stay where you are right now because it doesn't matter how beautiful it will be when you actually arrive where you're going it doesn't matter if you do not believe and you do not understand and fully appreciate why you can't stay where you are and that's um, where the big why comes in but this isn't something like only um, some ideas because get this uh, a recent research about the Zygernik effect you might like to research that so um, that research from Kenneth McGraw made another study based on that effect and made a shocking discovery the participants that start solving the quiz kept working on the quiz even after being told that the quiz was over so picture this you were solving a quiz for a, a research a test the researchers answered and say to you well the test is over you can stop now but the people that were being tested the real test was this they kept trying to solve the puzzle even though it wasn't counting anymore and get this it wasn't just some few participants that did this it was 90 percent of though of them so what's the lesson here the lesson here is once you start it your brain wants to end it you know because we're wired to um to, to reach for a conclusion and every time we are not able to figure it out how is it going to end our brain just keeps on going that's why on television they master this on series TV series they master this they call this the cliffhanger where at the end of an, one episode something happens 
that uh, create some tension, some anxiety, some new discovery, and then they'll say, we see you on the next episode, <laughs> right? And what you do, you're looking for and you're waiting for all week for the next episode, or you can watch it on the internet or whatever. So the real lesson here is this, just get going. You know, just get going. For me, one of the best productivity strategies that I use is this. Once I get going, once I start doing the work, I play a specific type of music. For me, it's trance music. You know, I love it. So when I'm working, I put on the trance music. Now get this. In another day, when I don't feel like doing the work, I remember my big why, but... I then, then I also do this, I start playing the trance music. And when I play that music, my brain goes f and fully associates me, myself, you know, into that state, the state where I was every single time that I was working on, even though right now I wasn't working and I wasn't feeling like working. But because I ignited that trigger, that made me go into that pattern of productivity, then doing that first step is a lot easier. And once you do that first step, like those researchers found out, it's everything more, more easy to uh, end that procrastination effect. Finally, your other issue is to how you can put yourself out there, you're a good listener and stay in the background type of person. So if you're a good listener and stay in the background type of person, why do you want to put yourself out there? You won't be able to do this until you understand why you want to put yourself out there. What's the purpose? Are you trying just to uh, appear to other people's eyes? What are you trying to do? What's your outcome? Know your outcome. Know why you absolutely need to show yourself and put to yourself out there. What's your message? Why should we care about your message? What are we trying to do? You know, because if you're a good listener and stay in the, in the background type of person, those are really important skills. You know, my wife, she's a really good listener. She's also that type of person that stays in the background, watches the other person's reactions and what they say, what they don't say, while me, it's all about interaction, connecting, you know, and finding out what drives you, what your passions are, and figuring out where you're stuck and get you unstuck and move forward. She she will look at you and see what else am I missing, you know, what I'm all that passionate and all ener and my energy is up. <laughs> and she afterwards she will tell me, well, Bruno, you missed this and this person didn't tell you this and that's important because that's maybe a clue you know uh, so I hope that this video helps you above all else don't try to be like uh, your mentors or some or the people that you admire or myself if what where you're strong is being like you said that good listener then be that good listener because that's a great way to lead, you know, most people are so busy trying to talk their way upwards the food chain in their companies that they miss what others are um, worried about, what their needs are, what their desires are, and good listeners are great leaders because they take the time to actually listen to others and see what's missing from from their lives what their needs what their desires what they're passionate about what their issues are what their challenges are because it gives you an opportunity to make a difference in their lives so again i hope that this video is helpful thank you for watching um if you're not part of the dream list i'm inviting you to go to the rapidway.com join us because this is one of the gifts that i give people it's opportunity to share with me their issues their uh, conflicts, their challenges, because what I really want to do is to help you start living a life worth dying for. And by the way, please visit leadinglifebeyondgoals.com, leadinglifebeyondgoals.com, because that's my latest course. It's an online course. We're going to launch it very soon. So 
make sure you enter that because because that's a really worthwhile journey that we're about to start and it will enable you to fulfill this mission um, in a big way so thank you for watching god bless you and i'll see you on the rabbitway.com my friend thank you